Now this is a splendid set. It's Gibbon's Roman Empire in eight volumes, complete in these magnificent bindings of the era that are all stamped by the bookbinder. We see the spines have raised bands. The compartments are richly and beautifully gilt, decorated with devices, stars, and so on. Uh, the, the covers of the boards have original marbled paper. The top edge is gilt. The end papers are marbled as well. We see down here Henry Sutheran and Company bookseller uh, stamp for the binding. So that's the binder's stamp. They're the so-called signed bindings. This set opens here to an engraved portrait of the author. And it's after a painting by Joshua Reynolds, 1887. And as we see, it is absolutely clean, tight, and sound. It is a scholarly set. And at the rear of it, we do see there is, for instance, this large folding map of the eastern part of the Roman Empire, followed by a similar map of the western part, like so. Western part, engraved by Walker, published by Murray, those two lithographed maps there. Now the second volume here, same, the whole set looks like this, just really beautiful. And we see here this fold out color lithographed map. Actually, it's, you know what? It's lithograph, but the color applied we're looking at is all hand color. So this is all with original hand color here. Yes. And we see again, clean, tight, and sound, like so. And at the rear is this little uh, lithographed map. And here's one of Constantinople, right there. Volume three, like this, like so. And here we have this fold-out map of Western Asia, which is essentially, of course, uh, Asia Minor, Turkey, Armenia, and uh, the Tigris and Euphrates, Mesopotamia Valley here, with original hand color, showing the marches of Julian and Heracl Heracleus. Okay. Right, nice scholarly set with notations and references and so on. It is one of the great works of history. And here's volume four, like so. And here we find, you'll notice that when I'm opening up each volume, I'm doing my very best not to open the book more than 90 degrees at any time, just to prevent putting stress on the joints of the volume. Uh, and here we have another large map with original hand color in outline, like so. Yes, there is a correct and an incorrect, well, there's, there are several correct ways and endless incorrect ways to handle <laughs> old leather bindings. Uh, so the best way is to try at all times to avoid using your fingernails, uh, use the pads of your fingers as you approach the book, and uh, always two hands, always one hand supporting the spine like so, and then a gentle opening, lay the book down like so, hold it like this, and gently, always gently, using the feel of the paper to open it slowly and carefully. Uh, it's always uh, distressing and discouraging when one sees these frontis folding maps, or even the rear, whatever, with these long tears in them because someone has carelessly pulled it open. Uh, and not allowed the paper, the feel of the paper, to direct their activity like so. It's a very subtle kind of, um, I don't know if I call it a skill, <laughs> but it's a very subtle feel that one develops over time. Uh, and so now we get into this volume here, really beautiful. I will be sad when this set leaves my bookcase 
these are the types of books that I will be happy to own uh, from now until the end. <laughs> and uh, here we have the map of the Mahometan Empire, or essentially uh, what is Islam, like so. And let's see, we have at the back here, we have this map also with hand color, okay, from the time of Charlemagne, right there. And now we're getting to volume seven, like so. Yes. And here we have a map of the Crusades, like this, original hand color, showing the different uh, Crusades, the first through the seventh. Off we go <laughs> to plunder and convince others <laughs> of our way of thinking. <laughs> Okay, and here's volume eight. Okay, yeah, I don't know why, but I just find it so crazy to travel around the world and try and convince people to think like you do. Uh, here's ancient Rome with 110 specific uh, sites or locations identified. Okay, <clears throat> and of course the massive index at the rear, which is almost a book unto itself. <clears throat> and this final environs of Rome folding map. And there we have <clears throat> this beautiful set. And it is available now online from me, uh, Brian Mambro.